Once you install your autopilot, you have the instrument on your panel, you have the trim tabs in the airplane, the extensions are going through everywhere you need, the servos are connected, you can turn power to your instrument and now we can start doing the adjustments. There's two phases to adjust the Super Eco. One is the phase we do on the ground, okay? And the other phase we do in the air. The first phase of the installation is done on the ground. We call it phase one. What we do is we go to the R menu. We go down to service mode and just do password one. Okay, we rotate the knob until one appears here on the password and then we click on the knob. Okay, and now we, we click on the L key. We can toggle from L to the initial screen as many times as we want, just like we do with any menu. Okay, so we press the L key on page one, we can see the autopilot instrument, the Super Eco will show that it wants to cage. It's important to cage the artificial horizon so that the autopilot can recover from unusual attitudes. Remember when you press that disconnect push button for three seconds, the Super Eco Autopilot will recover your airplane from an unusual attitude. That's why we need to have it caged for cruise flight. So we click on the knob, we go down to cage attitude and turn it until it says cage on the window. We click on it and after five seconds it will automatically cage. Remember the more synchronized you have the caging of the artificial horizon, the better the Autopilot will work. On page two, of our phase one calibration, we will find the servo direction. First, the roll servo direction. In order to tell the autopilot which direction the servo should go, we click on the knob and trim. By moving the knob, we can move the trim tab, like if we were trimming the airplane, to the right or to the left. So make sure right is right and left is left. If not, just click on the knob again and you see the last question here on the screen we can change it to reversed. So this will reverse the orientation of the servo. This is the roll servo. You will do the same with the pitch servo. Make sure up is up, down is down. If not, go here and change it to reversed. Finally, on the first phase of the autopilot calibration on the ground, we press the L key, we go to page four and we can adjust the baud rate. You have to synchronize the baud rate from your GPS to the Super Eco baud rate. So we click on here and we choose the baud rate here at the bottom. 9600 is a typical baud rate that most GPSs use. Okay, so that's all we need on the ground. Now let's go and fly and adjust the airplane in the air. So the second phase, you press the R key, go down to service mode, and choose password two. Click on the knob, L key, you will find pages one and two, which are information screens. And this is what they say. Page three is roll servo gain. It will control the ability of the autopilot to control the airplane on the roll axis. The higher the parameter, the faster the roll out will be. So if you want a fast roll out, increase the parameter. If you want a slow response, decrease the parameter. Roll servo gain adjusts the ability of the autopilot to control the roll servo axis. The higher the number, the fastest the response will be. But remember, if the number is too high, the airplane will start oscillating. Feel free to do roll inputs and the airplane should roll back to the horizontal position. No oscillations. On page four, you can adjust the gain when the airplane is flying straight. Make sure you fly the airplane for some time before you adjust this parameter. Observe how the autopilot reacts to changes in directions in the headings. If it oscillates, you can lower the parameter a little bit, just like you did with the servo gain parameter. If it's too slow to get to the heading, you can increase the parameter. You will do the same with the next parameter, which is gain when the airplane is turning. So what we do, is change the heading box, for example, 90 degrees to the right. The airplane will start turning to the right and you will see the reaction. The airplane should turn at the standard rate. If it doesn't turn smoothly, like if, if it oscillates as usual, we lower the gain. If it's too slow to turn, we raise the gain. Then we go to page five and we can adjust the P 
pitch servo gain. Pitch servo gain is done the same way that you did roll servo. Do pitch inputs and make sure your airplane goes back to level smoothly. If it oscillates, as usual, you can lower the parameter. Finally, adjust airspeed gain. Set the airplane uh, for indicated airspeed climb and observe how it follows that airspeed. Then change the gain accordingly. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to aircraftautomation.com.